Yo, what is up guys, Jukawal Gaming here, and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to make a custom muck card in Photoshop. So basically, this is just a tutorial teaching you how to make a muck card using uh, Photoshop, X uh, Photoshop, it's just the stock Windows Photoshop. So, the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need a template, and I'll show you what a template is right now. This is a template. This is basically the base starting thing for your muck card. This has all the little layers and stuff of all the things you need. This is just what you use to make a muck card. You can get these for free, or you can pay for them if they're more be if they're better ones. I got mine for free from a friend. You can just go on Butthead, and I'm sure you can find one for somebody that will let you have it. Um, so yeah, so once you have your template, um, you have to look for a player you're gonna do. I decided on Calvin Johnson. I figured this is a cool picture. So we're gonna look for, when you're going to look for a card for a picture to use in your mutt card, I would make sure you make it larger than 2 MP at least megapixels, just because um, it'll be a better um, it'll be better uh, clarity. It'll be more you know, I can't think of the word, but it'll be it'll be better picture because it'll be more clear. Um, so yeah, try to find a good picture that looks cool in your Abbey, or I call it Abbey because that's what we call it on the head. That's what we call about pictures. But when you make your mutt card, you're gonna have to find a good picture. So I've decided on this picture. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to save the picture. I'm gonna call it Kelvin Johnson uh, number two, since I already have one. I already made a Kelvin Johnson earlier though, but I'm not gonna make it this time. So when you get it, you go to your pictures and you look up the picture you just saved. So I just made that there. So once you have that, you're going to want to take a quick select tool, make it a little bit bigger, and then this is the part where you select the player that you have, and if you hear a little jingling behind me, that is my cat, she has a little bell on her, so that, that's probably, if you're going to hear the jingling, that's definitely her, so. So basically, while you're doing this, you're just trying to select the player out of the background, which is the, um, in a little blurred background that is in the picture, so you're just trying to make sure you take the player out of it, um, that's what I'm doing right now, so let me just do this real quick. I'm going to do a little bit of a rougher job this time, just so I can speed it up and not take too long, but if I were doing this for real, I'd probably be taking so once you've done that, get a little, the little you know, cracks and stuff in there, right? So once you've selected your player, you're going to want to go to select and then select and mask. See how it takes the player out? You're going to want to shift edge probably about 5 or so, and smooth it maybe about 10 or so. Just about there. Like that. You'll see that the line moves a little bit inwards. So once you're done with that, you control J it, that way it takes it out like that. And then you bring it over to this right here, and see it's on the wrong layer, but I'll bring it up to here, right there. See it's a bit big, obviously, it's very big, so we're going to want to resize it down a little bit. Take it down like right here. I mean, of course it would be easier to just resize the image when I have it over there, but I like to do it this way just because that way I can have it more of a, uh, more of a, a custom fit, I guess. I'm not really trying to say it, but I just prefer to do it this way. Um, make sure you size it up a bit, just make sure it's a good size. So when you're done with that, you want to save it, and then, um, oh yeah, by the way, when you're resizing the player, make sure you hold down shift, that way, um, that way it'll resize it and, like, constrain the proportions, that way it won't, like, warp it and make it, like, too thin or too big or something, so. So then what you're going to want to need, you're going to want to need Topaz. You can download Topaz, and I'm actually using a free trial right now, but, um, you have to buy it usually. You actually do have to buy it if you want to use it to get a more free trial, and I'm going to have to renew that soon. But basically, you're gonna want to try to find a good topaz. Thing, but that's kind of cool. Well, it makes it a little green down there. So you just want to fiddle with this a little bit, try to find a cool topaz thing. I like to use dynamic pop too. I think that looks pretty cool. So you want to apply it, and then maybe try to find a cool one. Like that one's kind of really dramatic. I think I'll save that. So when you're done with that, see how it changed. It makes it look pretty cool. Then you're gonna want to find a background. I found this really cool background that my friend showed me. Oh, where is it? It is this one, the Cosmic Dust. It looks really good. So what I like to do is I like to size it down a little bit. Maybe 1 to 50. Well, 50 is pretty good. I want to take it, move it over to the other one, like right here. Make sure it's about where you want it to be. If you, if you need to find out where it's going to be, maybe use a soft light or something, or a hard light, so you can see where it's going to be. There. So then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to select pixels, or what you can do is if you don't have this, is you can just, uh, you know, take the sides off and stuff with the marquee tool or something like that, but I'm not going to do that since I have it this way, so once you select pixels, you select, once you select pixels, you select the layer you're going to do, 
take it and go inverse and then backspace. See? Um, that way it's in there. Then, once you're done with that, you're going to want to take the, the background, or of, of course, this is just my Abbey, this is, the one, this is my butt card, this is the one I'm going to make. I'm going to do it this way, but of course, when you're doing it, it's yours. You figure out a way to make it look good. But the way I'm making it, you're going to want to do it this way. So once you have the back, we're going to want to hit colorize and try to find a cool color that works. Like that. That's kind of cool, although it's a bit bright. But once you're done with that, well not once you're done with that, but you're going to want to find a cool pick, uh, color like that. That's kind of cool. I kind of like that. It's pretty cool. Maybe make it a little bit more dark like that. Maybe a little bit like that. That's pretty cool. Um, Alright. Um, then what we're going to want to do is, I found some cool tricks that my friend showed me. You're going to want to uh, add new layer. This just adds a bit of a pop to it. You're going to want to make sure that the color is dark gray. Just about either on. It was already there since I used it earlier. But once you once you've done that, you want to make sure that you cover your player entirely in this grayness. Looks looks weird at first, but then I'll show you why it's a good thing. Just cover it in gray, right? Doesn't need to be perfect. Then you're gonna want to go to color dodge and see that pop. Watch, see it, it does it pops a lot when you do that. See, so um, that pops your player. And then I found this really cool picture. I like it. Touch ups on the sides, I don't really like that. So I found this really cool picture, but unfortunately I sort of lost it on this Ed Reed one that I made. So I found this cool picture I'm just gonna take out of it real quick. And then you wanna take it back to this side. That's a really cool picture I like to use for the background. Right here. Right about there, it's pretty good. And then you're gonna wanna put their name. I'll put my name, which is to uh it's on the wrong side, hang on. Up, get all the way to the top. Shoot a wall game. Maybe find a better font. I like to use this font, which is pretty cool. Um, and maybe make it a different color, like maybe red. Kind of cool. You want to take that. Or do you want to uh, rotate it? That. Bring it to the side. Then there's all these different things you can do to the text. I like to use the black text, or black stroke rather, which is pretty cool. Well, maybe I might make it a little blue would be kind of cool. Uh, yeah, blue would be kind of cool, because I think it's smaller. That's kind of cool. And then I like to use satin, which makes it look cool. And then maybe an outer glow, with maybe a blue glow. See? So once you have the name there, if you're making this for a mutthead member, then maybe you should add, you know, a clan or something, or just add their name. And then the little finishing touches here, little uh, add their names. Um, so his name is Kelvin. Go to the right space, and then his name is not last. His name is Johnson. I cannot type Look at that. And make sure you change the color because they're not normally red. Um, you're going to want to change the satin, the color overlay, you're going to want to make white or gray, depending on what you want, and then you should be done with that. And then, it's a mutt card, so you're probably going to want it to be 99 if it's your custom one, unless you want to change it to make it more realistic. Or, I mean, Kelvin Johnson is probably a 99 anyway, but he is a wide receiver, so make sure when you're doing this, you select the, uh, the layers, like that. Maybe make it a, a little bit of a, get rid of the satin, maybe make it a white. Oh yeah, maybe change the 99 to not be red. Get rid of the satin, maybe change the color of the white again, just because that's more realistic. Um, and then you can change its styles. I think I'm going to make the styles... Long pass is fine, I think I'll make it short pass. That. It's all little details that you want to fix and make good, because it's just the way that um, you'd be making it, but... Um, let's see if there's anything else I want to do. Also, if you want to stylize it a bit more, try to find another picture of Kelvin. Like maybe, let's see. Let's see if we can find a good picture. Um, maybe a menacing picture, like a scary picture when he's like, oh yeah, like scary and stuff. Um, that one's kind of cool. Let's use this one as soon as it loads. Oh, never mind. It's a bit, it's a bit, uh, that one's, that one's better. Sort of like scary right there. I take it here, go here, paste it, 
I want to take it, make it a bit smaller. Like so. Like so. And then you're going to want to put either soft light or overlay. See how that doesn't really fit? You want to fiddle with this until you get it to fit. Maybe a soft light and then copy it like that. Or maybe make that one an overlay like that. That one's kind of cool. I think I'll stick with that. And then you're going to want to find a lion's logo since he plays for the lions. Logo PNG. So PNG works with that. That one will work a little bit big. Let's see if we can find a smaller one because I had it searching for that. Let's try to find this one. That one's better. It's a bit, it's still a bit big. We'll save it. So you want to copy it. And I only copy it instead of, uh, I only copy it instead of, um, instead of saving it to my computer because I'm going to save space on my computer. I don't really want to make it, uh, don't really want to make it too, um, too uh, cluttered with all the stuff. So that's pretty cool. And then we're going to want to take out the uh, size real quick. Unfortunately, for some reason, it just doesn't do that right. Save it and then soft light it like that. And then we're pretty much done. So there you go. There is your custom muck card that you have made. You're going to want to take it, save as, save it to your pictures. Make sure you save it as a PNG or, or a JPEG. I don't, it doesn't really matter, but I like to save it as a PNG because that's full clarity or full clarity. Yeah. So Kelvin Johnson mutt card. Save it like so. And then, you should be good. Go to your pictures, you can find it, probably. Search, I don't know how to search it. Um, see if we can find it. See, there's the other one I made. I haven't, that one is a while ago, let's see if we can find it. Uh, it's here somewhere. Probably taking up a ton of time doing this, but... It's here somewhere. I'll speed this up. I have to speed this part up, but either way, it's here somewhere. <laughs> I'm a failure. I can't even find my own ad yet. Oh, there it is. There you go. There is the mutt card you just made. So, congratulations if you follow this. If you made it this far, please let me know. Please let me know. I'd love to know if you made it this far so I can know if I should make this longer or shorter or something. But thank you guys for sticking around. And I'm going to leave it here. So, Jukeball Gaming, out.